how I get around the city of angels is I get driven in a U-Haul. No, I am the only lesbian I know, and I know all the lesbians, who has never U-Hauled. U-Hauling is moving in with your girlfriend. It seems like a horrible fucking idea, but um, everyone else seems to really like it. Um, I don't know, I guess so, I don't know. I feel like U-Hauling is a little confusing because what's the time limit? Is it three days, is it a month, is it three months? This is actually one of my proudest lesbian moments to be able to say this on live TV. We waited two years. That's like, in lesbian years, that's like you're dying. But my fiance and I, that was the first ever relationship that I like moved into and and had, but we, it was like three years before we actually lived together. Wow. But um, like I was at her house all the time, so I guess you could say it was a U-Haul, it was like U-Haul light. It was like a safety storage. Yeah, well I've only ever lived with one person that I've dated, so I only U-Hauled once, technically. But I feel like I've kind of U-Hauled with most of the people I've dated where like suddenly I realize like I have two drawers that are mine, you know, and like my house is basically just me paying rent on a storage space that houses the shoes I don't wear anymore. But a lot of nice cats get adopted that way, so yeah, I support it for the animals. I actually think it's different for everyone, but I think that it can be kind of bad because as you get older, it gets easier. But if you're younger and you're U-Hauling, you like you don't know if that person's a serial killer. Like you don't know. I dated someone who was leading a double life once, you know? Thank God we didn't move in together. Now I know why she didn't want to move in together because she didn't want me to find out about the double life. For me, I hate moving. So the idea of just jumping into a U-Haul, like my house has to be on fire for me to leave it. So I'm not, a U-Hauling kind of gal. Uh, U-Hauling is uh, when you move way too quickly and you like move in with your counterpart after only being together for a short period of time. Um, yeah, U-Haul, I mean, I think that our community really is a great marketing plot for the company of U-Haul because what else is out there, you know? Like gender fluid animal. You know, the, the unicorn can be a top or a bottom. Um, the unicorn, you can ride a unicorn or you can be ridden by a unicorn. You know, uh, you can fly a unicorn up to the sky or you can dig. Unicorn can dig. It's, a, it's kind of a compliment, but also kind of not because when you're telling someone who's like outside of the stereotype, that they're a unicorn. It's also like saying like you're different, but you're also like super different. What do I, I think about a horse that shits rainbows? Um, unicorn is the gayest animal on the planet. I mean, they're like magical, they poop glitter. It doesn't get gayer than a unicorn. I am more of a narwhal fan. Narwhals are the unicorns of the sea. Think about why are unicorns white? Why do they all have to be white? Why are there no black unicorns? A unicorn is just like the beacon of light. Like. There's just like this hot girl at a straight bar who's gay, and you're gay, and you're single, and she's single. Like, that's a unicorn. Like, a unicorn is like, I'm every woman who likes women. And then you're like, this is like rainbow happens, and then like, you're just like moving down the street, and you feel really good. You know, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, a unicorn is just like needle in the haystack. You know, like saving grace a special person that is hard to find in nature. So that, like I've had people tell me that a unicorn is like a blonde, blue-eyed lesbian. 